Good morning everyone. It is day six uh, and as you can see I've got a smile on my face. Um, after yesterday's mammoth day which started with a horrendous dead end two hours wasted or whatever and then turned out to be about three hours by the time I went back to the campsite and carried on the other way. After all that it ended up being a mammoth day, cycled across, I'm pretty much up the west coast. I then had the world's most amazing wild camp uh, right at the bottom of uh, Skur Moor I think it's called. Um, and all night I've been listening to the uh, the stags bellowing and barking at each other which has been sort of amazing but spooky at the same time. Um, I don't know if this will come out, let me flip the camera. My wild camp was way over there somewhere, down by that forest, right down over there somewhere. Over here, I don't know if this will come out, uh, I think it's there, if I zoom in. That's all herds of deer, I assume red deer. And they have been noisy all night long. Not a bad noisy, a good noisy. Absolutely amazing. So yeah, um, today's plan is simple. Coast. <laughs> Finally, day six, I am gonna be getting to the West Scottish coastline. Um, unless anything dramatic goes wrong within the next hour or so I should be looking at the sea. Um, I am so pleased to be getting towards the sea. Uh, the reason it's taken me so long, apart from the storm at the start which caused a bit of problems and avoiding the east coast, um, this trip I am up against a time restriction. Uh, my train leaves Fort William on the 3rd of November. Uh, Fort William is on the west coast and it's quite a lot south from here. Um, so the further I go north, especially on the east coast, the further I get away from my finished destination. Uh, and that presents a bit of a problem in that I'm always wondering, am I going to get back in time? Am I going to be able to connect up the days and make it work to get to the train station on the right day? Am I going to end up being late? If I'm late, what, what happens? If I have a bike mechanical problem, what happens? If I have a health problem or an injury, what happens? How do I get there? This way, if I, rather than continuing going north, by cutting across west, hitting the west coast, which by the sounds of things from everyone I've spoken to up here is the one that hasn't been hit by the weather, it hasn't been damaged, the road should be fine. Uh, west is best seems to be the theory up here. Um, and I'm more than happy to do that because if I can stop going north and start going west, hit the coast and then work my way south along the west coast, that means every day I'm getting a little bit closer towards the finish point uh, rather than further away from it. And that takes out all the stress for me. And when I've got this, why on earth should I be rushed and stressed when I can share this with you instead of the miserable rainy East Coast, which is what I seem to have had. Sort of, I've had some sunshine, don't get me wrong, but it's been freezing cold and I've also had a lot of mist and quite a bit of rain. Um, so this time uh, over on the west coast it feels dry uh, my tent was dry this morning amazingly there was hardly any moisture inside i think the breeze has helped but it is drier over here um, and it's hopefully going to be a little bit on the warmer side we'll see what happens but um, yeah later on hopefully you will be joining me from the coast day six coastline i can't wait the seaside yes ah oh, so happy right um keep following keep sharing if you can uh, and if you're able to, please keep the donations coming in. Every single donation, uh, not only does it do amazing work out in the Forest of Mist with, uh, in Columbia with the World Land Trust, every single donation that comes through gives me a huge motivation boost. Um, I'm almost a week away from home, a week away from my family, a week away from my children and my wife. Um, I am missing home, um, but I am in amazing surroundings, so it's kind of a catch-22. But every single donation does two huge amazing things. One, it helps the World Land Trust massively, physically buys, protects and preserves land out in the Forest of Mist in Colombia, and it should be protected forever, not only protecting the wildlife and the biodiversity out there, but also protecting against climate change for the future. Um, but also it gives me that huge motivational boost to keep going, to keep pushing on, to keep cycling, and to keep sharing this amazing landscape with every one of you back home. Right folks, I'm gonna find the coastline and I'll see you all soon. Bye.